Well, how do there, chums? I'm back inside of No Man's Sky because somebody pointed out to me that during my prep video, I've got no repair kits on me. And repair kits are a must, really, for an expedition. They really are. You can fix your ship, take off that little bit quicker, fix any crash ships, fix any technology that might get broken in a scuffle with, you know, these giant creatures. So I'm jumping into game and I'm going to be showing you where I'm getting my repair kits from and how I get them with ease. So if I just go to a space station firstly, I'm just going to jump on over to any space station, not a pirate one, has to be a normal one. And I'll see you at the station, people. OK, once you arrive, OK, it's inside of your station. I'm just going to go into my options, go into difficulty. I'm currently on normal. I'm just going to chuck that into creative just for a moment so I get freebies. Yeah, so I don't have to spend any of my hard-gotten currencies. And you head on over this way, where the appearance modifier is. It looks like it's got the stig from Top Gear standing in it. You head on over to this little tent and this little guy under the stairs. Yeah. Hello there, mate. And you speak to this little guy. And you can go to purchase old scrap. And in here, you've got repair kits. And you can buy three of them with tainted metal. Okay, so I'm just going to buy three. Now, if you haven't got tainted metal, you know, you can run some derelicts and get some tainted metal. But in creative mode, I don't think you actually lose any of your tainted metal on your person. I mean, I've got 9,999 of it. So I buy that. And I don't think my tainted metal has moved. So there we go. I've got it for free. But I think you might need a little bit of tainted metal just to trick the system into thinking that you've got it. I don't know. Give it a go. There you go. I bought three from him. Now, what you can do is go back out to your ship, jump in your ship, out of your ship, create a save, and then, you know, go to another one. But, you know, rather than do that, I'm just going to go to the teleporter, hit up another station, and do the same thing again. Space station. I go to this one. Zoom. I'm off. Right, now I've arrived at it again. I always get turned about the wrong way in here. There's the stick. Just head on past the stig, head on over here, and we've got this lovely guy in a tent. Hello there, chappy. And it's the third option down, purchase old scrap. And, oh, can only buy two. There you go, I've got five so far. Now, if you don't want to do it this way, still speak to the same guy. Oh, look, his, si his sign's changing colour. It used to only be red before. Now it's going green and blue. I wonder if there's something in that. How weird's that? All right, anyway, I digress. If you go over to here and you can you can buy coordinates. You see here, acquire coordinates, 1,650 units. That's going to give you a derelict freighter module thing, okay? If you've got the units, you can buy that, okay? And then just jump in your ship. And this is another way to get yourself some repair kits. So if you haven't got the tainted metal, you can do it this way as long as you've got the units, to buy one of those things. Sometimes speaking to Helios inside of the Nexus, he used to give them out. He hasn't given them out for freaking ages. But here we go. Hit that. Tune signal. Well, he hasn't for me. He might for you. He might like you more than me. Helios is the one with a tree face, you know. And you just sort of pulse for a little while after hitting that doohickey up. And a freighter appears like this. Okay. Yeah. Fly on down. Now, you're not going to lose that emergency broadcast beacon until you actually open the doors and go in. So as long as you're not going to open the doors and go in, you can use it as many times as you freaking like. So here we go. Let's go down here. So the doors I'm on about are the ones actually with the marker on. Those ones all the way down there. This door is fine. You can go through this one just fine. It doesn't count. Okay, so you can open this door. That one's all right. It's this. Just don't interact with this. Don't interact with that. Just go over to this little crate here and hit there. You're going to get given three repair kits for nothing. All right. And then just run away. <laughs> run away. Keep your doohickey. Right. And then all you need to do is jump, jump to another system. Because you've already nicked the ones out of this one. If you call in another freighter, it's good. the box will be empty. So just sort of come away from here. Jump galaxy. Or system, I should say, not galaxy. There we go. We'll go to this one. Zoom. So 
Sweet, I've arrived. Cool. And then you should still have your little doohickey. Um, where is it? Okay. Um, why is all my... Oh, there we go, there it is, right there. It just looks different. Okay, no, just uh, hit that up then. Go on, work, dang you. Oh, it's not working. Okay, right, I'm going to stick it inside of there. And I'm just going to fly inside the space station. So I put it inside of my little refiner there. You probably just saw that. Go inside the station. Come on, come on, come on. Sweet. It should work. Jump out. It's probably because the derelict freighter is still sort of considered as being summoned. Uh, okay. I'm going to try just taking it out of here and then trying it again. But it probably isn't going to work yet. No. Okay, right. I'll put it back in there. Well, actually, we've, we've already made a save, but I'm just going to stick it back in there anyway. Make a save. And then do a reload of the save. So just go out to the options screen and reload. Okay, right. Now let's try taking it out of my jetpack. There we go. Put that back into my exosuit. Can I use it now? No. It looks like it's um, it's broken. Oh, no. Hold on. Hmm. It's weird. When you hover over it, it says that you can tune to signal, press square, but it, it's not actually working. So I think that has uh, so that's fudged it. Maybe I should have put it inside of my, my refiner before I popped, just after I popped it, before the freighter was spawned in. I think that's what I did wrong. But you can reuse them, but if not, just buy another one. However, what you can do, now that you've you know, got your repair kits, I mean, I've got, what, eight of them, I'll show you how you can duplicate them. So if I just fly it out, zoom, go aboard a lovely freighter or, or a planet, anything really. But I'm going to go aboard my freighter. I'll see you on my freighter bridge. Okay, now I'm on my freighter bridge. If I just get myself a portable refiner. So it should be in portable tech. Where are you? There it is. Check it out. Stick it right in my doorway there. Head on over to it. And hopefully I've got the repair kits inside of here. Repair kits, repair kits. Where are they? There they are. All eight of them. Stick them in there. Then you just get another portable refiner. Stick it over the top of the portable refiner you've already got. Like so. And again. And again. Do it as many times as you like. And then pick them up. And you should get duplicates of your repair kits for each time you've put a refiner on top of a refiner. There we go. I now should have a whole stash of repair kits. Here, here you go. Got 20 there, 20 there. Got a load of extra refiners that I could take with me. So I think I'm pretty much ready now to make my choices when it comes to running this expedition. Now, the expedition is supposed to be running at 1 p.m. today. Is there any insight that I could have right now to let me know what sort of missions and badges I could be popping? Yes, there is. I'm going to jump over to my PC. And I'm going to show you some of the badges and milestones. So at this point, we're going to be moving into spoiler territory. So if you don't want a heads up on what's coming inside of the expedition, tune out now and I'll say goodbye to you. But stay locked in for more info. See you in a So moment. the maker of the No Man's Sky Assistant app, Kurt, hits me up for pretty much every update without fail with a load of the patches and graphics and things to help me with my thumbnails and stuff like that. But here are all of those graphics. So if I hit this up, it looks like we're going to be on some sort of stormy sort of planet by the looks of things. And that's what I gather, a windy planet anyhow. Don't know about doing what, probably just walking to find our ship, I'd imagine. Then we've got the Exomech. I think this is going to be time gated and we're going to slowly build the Exomech for a community thing. We've also got some sort of strange bug type looking creature there. And it's also got like a, a skull icon in the background. So I don't know whether we're going to a pirate system to find one of these. But 
Yeah, gives a kind of a rough idea, I suppose. And we've got a, like a, a, a purpley one as well. I don't think it has got anything to do with you know, piratey systems. I think we're just going to be doing combat with these bugs. We've got a blue one. We've got an orange one and a red one. I think they're on different sort of biomes, perhaps. Not 100% sure. But then we've got this one, which is labelled Harvest. Okay, hold on one second. Let's just come out of there for a, you know, a bit. Um, because it says here, kill, it's kill fire, kill fire, kill fire, kill fire. Okay, fine. So yeah, and we've also got Harvest. Then we've got this one here, pa Patch Grenade. That's the next one. So we're probably going to be making a grenade launcher of some kind, which is going to be cool for blowing off parts of these creatures. Now I have gone for a plasma launcher. So I don't know whether it's a plasma launcher, a geology cannon or what, but yeah, I've, I've brought along some S, well, I'm going to bring along some S-class plasma launchers. Uh, the sort of badge for the whole expedition itself. And it looks like the insides or um, the genetic materials of these creatures. When you kill these creatures, you do get some sort of tainted, weird sort of uh, gunge from them. But you also get organs from them that you can use in cooking recipes. Don't know if we're going to be doing any cooking. We'll continue on. And it looks like we've got to find our ship. That makes sense. Um, probably fix it, take it off like we normally do. Lovely jubbly. Uh, looks like we've taken out some of the little mini ones. That looks like a little mini meanie. Maybe there's a certain kill count for the little ones. Then we've got the grub as well. Finding our first grub, I would imagine. And again, taking out each of these on different biomes, I think, is what's probably going to happen. That looks like one of the uh, giant fish in the oceans. We've got it added in an abyss where you have to pull these little bits off of a plant and he pops out and comes at you. So I'd imagine there's going to be an underwater aspect to this as well. And then what have we got? We've got over here, we've got some ammo, craft your own ammo, I, I'm guessing. Eh, well, that shouldn't be too difficult. And then there's this one, which is marked as airborne. So maybe we've got to fly really high. Now, considering that the planets have been added in storms and the storms happen a lot more frequently now, that should be pretty easy to achieve. So yeah, ammo, big fish, bug, bug, bug. They kind of give a little bit of a alluding to what we need to do. Patch, cook, new. And we are going to be cooking something, I think, with this one, because it actually mentions cook. So there you go. Brilliant. So that's pretty much what I think we're going to be doing in here. A little bit of harvesting, a little bit of cooking, and a heck of a lot of cook uh, killing when it comes to creatures on land. But we may even have to take out a big fish in the oceans. We're going to be building an exomech. We, at some point, we've got to build some sort of um, grenade launcher, which I think is going to be awesome fun against these bugs, because I don't see a lot of players playing about with grenade launchers, but heck yeah that should be fun and the airborne patch which we've done in quite a few expeditions prior so you know what i don't think there is a great need to take everything that i've got on my person i'm going to keep it very combat focused try and get as much technology in there as i possibly can maybe just some additional things for nanites just in case i want to rework the modules inside of my um multi-tool the multi-tool expansions i think are going to be the main thing that i want to take so I think I can prep for this pretty pretty well inside of my head. And I'm also thinking that each of these are probably going to be different rendezvous points. So we're probably going to have to do a lot of warping, a lot of jumping. So I'm going to take a lot of launch thruster fuel and a lot of warp warp fuel as well. Two types of fuel. I'm going to also take in maybe some shield modules for my exosuit so I can tank some hits. And that's probably about it. Now, each of these planets, I'm thinking, are probably going to be extreme weathery planets as well, perhaps. So maybe I should be taking hazard protection against more of the elements. But I think I'm just going to take in life support and try and wing it, is what I'm thinking. But, you know, you can only take a certain amount of technology. You know, I think there's seven slots for technology. So I think going for a strong offense rather than a defense is probably the way I'm going to go. I'm going to jack window this. Heck yes. But there we go, people. That, that's pretty much everything that I've got for you when it comes to prep work and things like that. I did a video the other day on getting all those bits and bobs, which um, hopefully you can hit on up. If I've still got the thumbnail, I'll put the thumbnail on the screen so you can see that in all of its glory and go and hit that up. But I'm thoroughly looking forward to this expedition. Now I have hit on up that bomber boy and said that timestamp for 1 p.m. of today is that still the same 
has it changed? And as of 9.15 a.m. this morning, that timestamp hasn't changed. It's still set to 1 p.m. GMT time. Hello Games can change that server site, just on the keyboard, quickly and easily. It could change. So that bomber boy said, look, if it does change, I'll put something out on my Twitter feed. I've got my eyes locked onto that. And if it does change, I'll probably just do a quick shorts video or update my community tab over on YouTube. If you haven't already hit that notification bell, please do and hopefully you get notified when I put something on my community tab. It doesn't always work. 90% of the time it does. So hopefully you'll see it. Till next time, people. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.